All right, it's time we got the new Valkyrie against all of Beyblade vs. Chosy. Hello everyone, and today we are going to be testing out the newly released Chosy of Valkyrie against all of Bailey Burst Chosy. So before we continue, let's get this video past 500 likes. Make sure to comment whenever your favorite battle around is as we go through this video. And make sure to leave a comment on as well, how good do you think this combo is? And if you think this combo is actually better than the original, I'm just going to that wall right there. So. I do have some maze that may be released in God, but I'm more my idea is sort of the general idea for the Chosy area. So if it came when Chosy was going on, or if it's actually part of the anime, I'll use it. I don't use too many repeats. I almost rarely use repeats of maze unless it's for a specific reason. So this more or less is the main maze that I'll be going over. And you know, keep in mind, I still might miss a few right at the start, but I usually like tend to get maze that I miss. Uh, later on. Like look, I just found two two other bays I forgot to use. So we're gonna begin. My idea is usually if it's not really like a main bay, so I guess I would say the less recent that it is, the less rounds that it gets, unless it pulls off like a really crazy round. Alright, screw it trident. <laughs> we're already off to a good start. It, it kind of lasted longer than I expected. So next up, let's do... Emperor Fornius. But I'm actually going to be surprised if Fornius gets it. Not bad, but... Fornius... Fornius is doing good with its guard. I'm a little surprised, actually. We'll do one more round. All right, Fornius gets one more round because that was a crazy guard that it had right there. Alright, first bait's lost to is really Fornius. So next up, we're going to get Hell Salamander. I'll keep it in defense in five bladed. So let's get it set. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, that was a little close. We'll put Salamander in its 10-bladed mode. That winner was Chosy Valkyrie. I'm not really too much of a fan of Hell Salamander, but sometimes they can really pull off some good wins. That's why I think, was it? Is it Hell Salamander on Bearing that a lot of people like to use? Because that bay has... Well, the lair... has really good staying power. Not staying power. I think, is it spin equalization? Is that the term I'm thinking of? Probably. Just to like, get equal to the opponent in rotation then after outlast them. Next up, we're gonna do Winning of Valkyrie. Oh, it's back in! Aw. Uh, it's really, hey! There we go. Like, never mind, never mind. Alright. Hey! It lost. Alright, we gotta try Archer Hercules, because now I'm a little bit, you know, curious. I try to go for a slide shoot, just to see. Because then I have to just sort of does that flower pattern when it's attacking. I guess against, like, stamina-type base or defense, you have a really tough time trying to beat it. 
Yeah, if, re if this was maybe Ultimate Reboot, it might have been able to last a little longer. And direct a little better attacks. And kick in now! Alright, we're tied 1 1, so. Like with bays like Hercules, for sure. Like just tough bays. And if a bay has another mode, you know what I mean? I can't just ignore it. It's gonna be Archer Hercules, though. Hey, two losses. So next up we have Hotties. Okay. No, you don't go back in. Wow. Hey, no, I actually didn't realize this, but what was it? Hearts in five have the same voice actor in Japanese. I realized that a long time ago. I figured I'd just point that out. It was kind of cool. Oh, wow, that's Valkyria right at the end. I think, what was it? The voice actor played the, some of the antagonists in the previous generations, too? Actually, I made a tweet about that a long time ago. Just surprised to find that. Whoa, okay. I was surprised to find that. I'm just, oh, okay, Hades, you get another round. I was surprised to find that out. Those burst stoppers are helping it. A hundred percent. It wasn't that obvious. Whoa! Hey, Dees! Way to go! So next up, let's try Shining on Materials. Come on, Shining. Hazard Kerbeus. <laughs> so next up, we have Right Artemis. It's the random booster one, right? But I very just to do the two halves. Whoa, that was a, what? That was a double burst. I didn't activate the burst stoppers, so that's probably why I actually lost the Hades. Then, ooh, that's uh, let me see. All right, next up, let's try. Apollos, right? Apollos, so let's get on the launcher. Might have mixed up the names right there. Hey, I left Apollos. Alright, so Chosy Valkyrie defeated it, but now what I'm trying to wonder is between Eclipse which one am I gonna pick? I'll probably just go with left. Nah, I'll go with right Eclipse actually. It is always fun to actually just mix and match Eclipse because it's such a cool looking bay once it's assembled. I'll probably go with the red core, but the combo that I usually tend to use, I'll try to go with the anime, but usually I just go with whatever parts I can just mix up. But in the anime, since uh, Hades, uh, since it, yeah, it does use his dead Hades parts, I guess I'll go with that. So, let's try it. Yeah, okay. Next up. Stream. Oh, never mind. Hey, 
Shadow, what are you doing right there? Let's try to get that. Between these two, it's gonna be a little bit tough, I guess. Right, let's go through the old gen bay real quickly. And go! Cool looking bay, but old gen bays really suck for performance. Except Drigger Fang. Drigger Fang's actually not that bad. Which actually, I think these are the last because if you didn't see, there's like this anniversary set. And it comes with your seal fortress, right? So I think they're just gonna go to MFB remakes since I guess Chozy through, was it God? I don't think it was through God since. I think it's gonna go through M MFB and then after they're gonna go through the rest. I don't know if they're gonna do any more old gen. I mean, it'd be cool if they did, but you know, Vice Leopard now. A lot of these bays are kind of nothing to say, but I think with bays that are a little bit tougher, like let's say Air Knight, right? Air Knight's a pretty pretty sturdy and tough bay, right? Okay, we're gonna try that again, right? We're gonna try that again. Air Knight's a pretty tough and sturdy bay, right? The one thing I hate about Reboot is if Reboot kicks in at the worst moment, because then after it just goes around hitting nothing. Yeah, Air Knight's tough to burst despite the teeth, but it's really easy to knock down. So obviously, we do one last round since we're one all. Oh my. So next time, let's go with Aegis. Aegis, come on. Oh joy. Poor Aegis. All right, next up, we're gonna do Korash or Ragnarok. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun. really look like I'm not surprised right now. So we're gonna move on to our next bay, which is, let me think, we could do the original Z Keeley. So I did wanna actually try this one out because there is a slight, okay, there was a slight difference between that and Extend Plus. Obviously, I didn't prepare for the fact that Valkyrie would just kill it right away. So, we're gonna try it. Let's try it like that. So, like, with some battles, right, a bay could definitely get defeated really easily, but, you know, we gotta, like, be sure. Speculate is, like, the original one, and this one's, like, pretty cool, I guess, so. Extend isn't the tallest height, by the way. So it can knock it out. So next, in light of that, let's go up against Buster Excalibur. So with Buster, we always have to make sure that Buster is actually in its Buster mode because sometimes when there's a lot of great impact on it, it just switches to it. This is not technically it's supposed to do it right away. That's why there's two options, but you know. Like, see what I mean? Switches the buster mode. So, I guess we'll try it again. I'm trying to fathom how it jumped. So, hey man. Buster, fifth impact. So, next up, provide Phoenix. In a way, 
say this kind of is basically the whoa cake. I'm gonna say this basically finding a reason to chose Valkyrie against. Yeah, okay. Just like another chosy Valkyrie session, because we're only really doing to get some of the new ones. It is kind of cool though. Just go all the way. So we're gonna do uh, Evil Phoenix, I guess. That's the name for it. We'll just call it Black Revive Phoenix, I guess, but it's like an evil version of it. Like that's in the anime. Maybe it's gonna kick in. So Phoenix should win. Am I wrong? Yeah, no. Phoenix should win, especially even if I have, uh, even if I get those uh, blades out, because Phoenix is a tough one. It is a tough bay. I would, technically speaking, I could actually do perfect Phoenix. So usually what I'll tend to do is if Bay loses, I'll have to do another round. A lot of people already know this, but just in case someone wonders why did Zinky only do one match for this one, but like 10 others for another one. That, you can feel that hit. Okay, so that's an overall win. So next up, let's go up against Dead Phoenix. So I'd probably do this. I was actually thinking doing Valkyrie against Dead Phoenix, but I don't know. Because I already did, you know. Look, if Phoenix wants to do that, you know what I mean? Go, go ahead. I'm not stopping it. Yeah, sometimes Phoenix does that because Atomic and the free spinning ball. That's why I'm always trying to like launch it on the side. Yeah. That was a bit of Valkyrie at the end. I feel like that was a bit of Valkyrie at the end, but whatever. Someone in the comments can tell me why. It wasn't, so now let's do Perfect Phoenix. So Perfect Phoenix, surprisingly enough, would have been actually a really cool idea in the anime, but never used, actually. Fair play, fair play. So next up, we are going to do the one, the actually, one not, I'll do Bloody Longinus. I was actually gonna do Guys Faf here. It's be like, hey, you know what'd be cool? I feel so bad for doing the Longinus. That, man, this was just around the time the Longinus actually did cool stuff. So let's stop it. Now, let's do the one and only Geist. Reboot! Kick in! Kind of reminds me of Beyblade Burst, uh... I mean, I guess it would just read it. This is Beyblade Burst God, the three versus Bolt. Yeah, so the thing is with Fafnir, I'll do a hand spin just one time, just because I want to see. So the idea is when you hand spin Fafnir, if Valkyrie can't like, like do a burst finish, you know what I mean? That's why, eh, it's kind of close, it's kind of close, you know what I mean? No, come on. Ooh, you can see that! I just realized I'm battling against three. Oh, Alright, hey, okay. So, actually, 
I don't even know why I did this, but this is actually kind of cool. So if I had these three Achilles, you're going to be asking me, why did I pick three different Achilles for what reason? So now, actually, I can do each height. Huh? Basically, each height. So we can go, so this is like the shortest height, right? So let's go all the way around to the second height, because then after when you go there, it's only a little bit more until it goes to the tallest. So, second height. So, yeah, let's do the shortest height with this Achilles and see what'll happen. matter all that much because sometimes when you want Achilles obviously that dimension might actually change as it goes on through the battle which I keep on forgetting that it does so that's why I always got to double check during these rounds what will happen like in the anime all right we're going around Two hits? No? Hey, it's pretty, it's pretty good. All right, come on. So Achilles in the tall smooth attack might be able to actually do it. Might be, oh, if this was actually the original Chosey Valkyrie for sure because it can knock it out. It's a lot of rounds for me to go over. Make sure to actually comment the wins and the losses because I'm actually very curious. I do try to read the comments and I usually try to pin it, but you know, sometimes I might forget. So obviously since that was a burst, that goes to the Valkyrie, right? Because it knocked it out. Still. All right, spree again. Now the thing is, I've already done it against the Royal King Spriggan, if you're wondering. I did a battle royale between that and a bloody longness that was also in the same color scheme of those two bays. So check that out. It's like, well, why am I gonna do that if I already did the battle? All right, next up, let's do Valkyrie against Valkyrie. That was like very hard to time because I was like, no, if I miss, it's gonna just go all the way around. So let's try that again. Oh joy, Valkyrie, let's, uh, let's try to do this right. You know what I mean? Let's try to actually, you know, get, get, that, get that win. Yes! No! Whoa! Okay, well. Enough tries for one day. Alright, let's go with the last one, which is going to be Achilles. Why did I leave Achilles for last? That's pretty easy to answer, I forgot. Actually do it at the start. Wow, that's a lot of hits. Alright, tell me in the comment section below. What was your favorite battle, I guess? And, yeah. So obviously, I am going to be doing a lot more Slash of Valkyrie videos. I still have a few good ones saved on the side. If any actual news comes up, I'll probably be doing that. Uh, I don't know when I'm launching this specifically. This is actually probably a pretty important one just to launch because I know a lot of people want to actually see it. Uh, if, you wanna, if you wanna see the actual GT base, I might do that separately. It's, I'm, I'm still hesitant, I don't know. Tell me in the comment section below, but as always, hey, have an awesome day.